Everybody, Lewis here. Our shack barbecue and other things. So I did a cook um, on my Weber kettle. Uh, I did stuffed chicken with gouda, uh, smoked gouda, and bacon, and asparagus, and mushrooms, and it turned out pretty good. I put a marinara basil. Uh, garlic marinara on top of it um, I just say that was all right that wasn't wasn't the best thing to do um, but the chicken was delicious so uh, I'll show you how I did that and the uh, kettle I used and everything I did it indirect uh, 20 minutes on one side indirect 20 minutes on the other side indirect and then um, put the sauce on it uh, for the last five minutes and let it sit and it came out uh, temp temp wise about 175 um, but uh, tasted really good and we will show you how I did it so hope you enjoy it <laughs> Thank you. 
chicken breast with a nice sweet basil and garlic marinara on top of it as well as you got smoked gouda, asparagus, bacon. Oh, let's cut into this see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Cut ourselves a little bite here. Or a big bite. See it's just coming right apart. Let's get a little bite of asparagus on there. Cheers. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. Mm. I need another bite. Chicken is cooked perfectly. Mm, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. So basically, uh, put them on the uh, grill. Temperature is running about 350. Uh, put it on there for 20 minutes. Flip them over indirect. Let them go for another 20 minutes. Put the uh, asparagus and uh, mushroom little side dish on. For uh, the last 10 minutes, put the marinara on in the last 10 minutes, let everything kind of set. And I tell you, it is delicious. Anyhow, you should try this. It's really, really good. Uh, and that uh, it's incredible seasoning. All oh, that does, it's incredible. Anyhow, as I always say, hope you like it and grill on. Cheers.